Okay, everyone, thank you for participating today. We will begin with an opening statement from Coach Brown in just a moment, and then go to your questions. Uh, Use the raise hand function to indicate you would like to ask a question, and when you are called on for your question, please state your name and affiliation first. Coach Brown, please give a brief opening statement, and then we will get to questions. I want to give great Drake all the credit. They played great tonight. They defended at a high level. We were only able to get 52 points. I thought we defended at a high level as well, holding them to 53. I thought the key to the game was we missed free throws. Uh, we probably missed eight to 10 free throws. We didn't do a good job of um, sticking our landing on rebounds. Like we would check them out, we would have a good stop, and all of a sudden the ball would bounce out of bounds and it'll be their ball. So that happened eight to 10 times. We tried to keep going to our big boy inside. He did a great job scoring it tonight. They did a great job on Tyson, just basically like a boxing one, not allowing him to get the ball. But I give them all the credit, they play well. All right, thank you, Coach. Now we'll go to questions from the media. Again, use the raise hand function to indicate you have a question and state your name and affiliation as you ask it. Our first question comes from Jacob Albrecht. Jacob, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Coach, that's a, obviously a tough way to lose, but how quickly can you get in these guys' ears to try to look back on how proud of them you are and what they were able to achieve in, in an improbable year. I already did it. I went to the locker room and I didn't even talk about the game. I said, man, I'm so proud of you guys. You guys were pick seven. You won the AAC. You're one of 68 teams to make it to the conference tournament. Um, just proud of you. What I would like you guys to do is continue to do the right things on and off the court. Take care of your academics. Give a week off, maybe two weeks. When we come back, time to get bigger and stronger get better on the basketball floor, and get ready for next year. So I just told him I was proud of him. Um, great effort. We just didn't get it done tonight. All right, our next question comes from Reese Becker. Reese, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Hey, Coach. I know today didn't turn the way you wanted to, but what do you think of being part of a really historic night in CBA tournament history? I couldn't hear you say that again. I said, Coach, I know today didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, but what do you think about being part of a really historic night in CAA tournament history? Oh, I'm excited about that, being a part of a historic history in the NCAA tournament. All right. Uh, thank you. Our next question comes from Chris Lilly. Chris, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hey, Coach, just what was Drake able to do to kind of limit, obviously, Tyson Etienne? He only had one point, and what was the frustrations there? They did a good job of staying with him. Um, he missed a couple shots. We didn't do a good job of getting him open, but we went inside to our big boy. I think the problem was in the game, again, we missed the free throws, and we didn't get those rebounds when we needed to. They did a great job on Tyson, slowing him down, but Tyson also did a great job on their two guard. You know, that was the difference in the game. Our next question comes from uh, Taylor Eldridge. Taylor, go ahead and unmute yourself. Yeah, Coach. I mean, we've talked about the, the free throws and defensive rebounding uh, recently. Does that just make it even more frustrating that those things are ultimately what, what ended the season? Yeah, I'm glad you noticed that too. It was the um, free throws. We didn't do a good job making free throws. And it wasn't that we wasn't rebounding. We would get the rebound would get bumped a little bit. They were the more physical team, and the ball would go out of bounds on us. But we didn't do a good job of that. I know they, we had to give up at least eight of them like that. And when you give up second possessions like that, the team usually makes a basket, and they did. They did a good job. Okay, our next question from Danny Barletta. Danny, unmute yourself. Thank you. Hey, coach. Um, obviously, Altariq missed that final shot. He's had a, he's had quite a college career. Um, just what a what has he meant to your program this year? He's meant everything to me. The fact that you know the kid transferred from UConn, he had never made it to postseason. For the most part, he was injured. This has been the first year that he's played in every game. He took care of his body. He did a great job, and he made my life easier. Anytime you got a point guard that can get the ball up the floor, get you into every set. It makes the head coach's life easy. And he did a great job of getting us in everything. 
He ran the basketball team. He scored when he needed to. He had a positive attitude, and he was a leader in the locker room. So I'm really excited about having him here this year, and I'm just so thankful to have him for this year. Our next question comes again from Taylor Eldridge. Taylor, go ahead and unmute yourself. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned uh, Mo. You know, just how, how key was he down low? What what allowed him to have so much success? Uh, you know, career high for him. You know, Morris can score the basketball, and at the end of the game, you know, I I like to go dribble drive, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make sure we were executing and getting the ball to a guy that could score it. And every time we threw it in there, he scored it. It's just you know, our entire team, we just didn't. We didn't make free throws like we needed to. We would get up 11 points in the first half, miss a couple free throws. Second half was the same thing. I think we got up 11 in the second half. We just didn't do a good job of rebounding and, and making free throws. Next question comes from Chris Lilly. Chris, go ahead and unmute yourself. Yeah, Coach, you kind of mentioned it there. Just to, Does it sting a little more knowing that you guys did build up those two double-digit leads in each half? And it seemed like you guys played pretty well for 30 plus minutes, but end up losing. Does that sing a little more? Yeah, we kept letting them hang around. You know, in the first half, we got up 11. I think we had a couple turnovers and they made a few shots. You know, even though we went into the half with a one point lead, um, we came out the second half. We, we put the first half behind us. We got a 10, 11 point lead in the second half and we just didn't do a good job. You know, they stepped up, they made some threes, they hit some timely baskets and they were the better team tonight. All right, our next question from J uh, Jacob Albright. Jacob? Coach, I don't know if you have any insight to the future of the seniors with the oddity of the year, but you guys will have a lot coming back either way. Do you know what the seniors are thinking right now? And, and even with that or without it, how excited are you to have so much youth and so much coming back next year? I'm excited about our team coming back next year. Another year to work with them, another year to get better. You know, next year we can concentrate on getting bigger and stronger. And in the summertime, we don't have to work on all our sets because now they know them. So we can do a lot of skill development where guys can get better and better, you know, dribbling with their left hand, dribbling with their right. A guy that may not be a great shooter, now during the summertime, he can work to become a better shooter. You know, I welcome our seniors back, but you know, again, those kids, you know, they want to go play professional ball. I hope they get the opportunity to do that. If, if they want to come back, they're more than welcome. Uh, but if they decide to leave, we just got to go out and recruit, you know, two good players. And we got a lot of guys, you know, that we've been following and chasing this year. But we welcome them back and I want them back. And that's just we'll sit down and talk to them, you know, when we get back. We'll give them a week off and we'll sit back and talk to them after that. All right, next coach, uh, question from Taylor Eldridge. Uh, second straight game where, you know, you guys have a shot in the air that would have won it, you know, second straight with all Tariq. What, what was going through your head this time, you know, when he, he got that shot off? Well, you know, the last time we was in the same situation, um, Mars Udese rebounded and threw it to Dexter. So this time I told Dexter to get long, to get at the top of the free throw line. And when the ball is shot and we secure the rebound, I want you to sprint and get your feet set. I wanted Al Tariq and um, Tyson to get at each elbow at the free throw line. Whichever side it came off on, I wanted you to sprint up the court, they advance it to you, and we try to get to the rim as quickly as possible. Um, we took a jump shot, they defended it well, just didn't make it. I mean, we had to get it up. The time for one final question for Coach, anyone? All right, uh, Taylor, go ahead. Final question for Coach Brown. There we go, Taylor. All right, on defense, um, you know, obviously you guys did a, a good job of them. Uh, what do you feel like once they got going a little, you know, later in the game, they had the, the, the string of three-pointers, what was the difference there? What were you guys doing a good job of and then what kind of changed down the stretch? Just stepped up and made shots. You know, we got in the little point guard, started driving it. We had to help a little bit more. And all of a sudden, Hemp Hill, he made some shots. Every time they kicked it to him, he stepped up and, and made a shot. You know, we missed a couple layups. They go down, he hit a tough three. So give them all the credit. Those kids stepped up, made some big shots. We came up a little short tonight. Okay, we are now joined by Morris Udeze. And we'll begin our press conference again. Use your raise hand function to indicate you'd like to ask him a question. 
when you're called for your question, uh, state your name, please. Uh, we'll start with Chris Lilly. Yeah, Morris, it's Chris Lee with Cake TV. Just what was working for you today? Uh, obviously, you were good doing, had a solid game. Just what was working for you today? Um, I feel like we're just prepared. I've been preparing for this moment my whole life, and I just executed, and I, I just want to thank Coach for calling the plays for me, which he executed. All right, our next question comes from Taylor Eldridge. Taylor, go ahead and unmute yourself. Yeah, Mo, and obviously just a, you know, a devastating end. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Sorry, Taylor, I cut you off. Go ahead and repeat that. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously a devastating ending, uh, you know, second straight game now where, you know, you guys had a shot at the end to win it. Uh, you said last week, you know, you felt like that shot by AG was going in. Tonight, did you get the same feeling or what, what was kind of your, your feeling when that shot was in the air? Honestly, felt like he was gonna make the shot. We go over and practice all the time, late game situations, and I just prayed and went in. And same situation came out. Missed. All right. The next question is from Jacob Albrecht. Mo, well, I know it's tough in that locker room right now, but do you guys take a moment to be proud of what you were able to accomplish this year, or what's that emotional roller coaster like for you? Yeah, for sure. I'm just uh, it's one of the leaders as, a, as one of the leaders of the team. Just telling the guys that this off season gonna be hectic. We're gonna go at it, and we're gonna be here next year again. All right. Any additional questions for Morris? All right. Let's go with uh, Chris Lilly. Morris, does this one sting maybe a little more knowing that you guys did have that double digit lead in both halves and just weren't able to close out each half? Yeah, for sure. I feel like we had him the first half by 10, second half again, and just, and, just, and Drake just kept on just making runs and hitting threes on us. So give credit to them, hitting shots. I mean, it happens. Okay, we'll go back now to Taylor Eldridge. And do you feel like this game, I mean, it looked like when you got the ball, I mean, you just had that that confidence. I mean, you, you've had stretches of that this season, but do you feel like, you know, at, at points in this game, this is the most confident you've ever been? Yeah, for sure. I feel like my teammates, my coaches had faith in me, kept on giving me the ball. I just tried to execute whatever was given. And it happened in my favor today. I just want to thank God, my coaching staff, my teammates. Next question from Jacob Albrecht. Mo, well, what do you think you'll remember most about this season? Uh, I feel like I'm going to remember just uh, us coming together, AG, T. Ways last year. We just wanted to go out with a bang, make the NCAA tournament for them. It was AG's first time, T. Ways' first time, and we did it. We accomplished what we wanted to accomplish, but we tried to make it far in this tournament. Didn't succeed, but we won a, a regular season championship, and, and, and I'm just proud of my guys back there in the locker room no matter what.